Hi, Rudy from Better Music here today with a comparison for you. We're going to look at the top four digital pianos, which we would consider home pianos because they're not sort of carry under your arm ones. They're designed in a cabinet. This is a slimline cabinet. The top four digital pianos under $1,500 for sale today on our website. So we're going to start with the Roland F140. Uh, this is the first one we're going to look at. Now this one's probably been out the longest out of the four that we're going to look at today, but it's been a very good seller and it's still a really good piano. So let's have a listen. The main piano sound, look, the touch is really good. It's a, a graded hammer mechanism. It uses the fake ivory finish, which is nice and grippy. Gives you a little off-white color, but it's really nice under your fingers. Uh, it's got a slimline cabinet, available in black as well, not just the white. Very slimline, doesn't take up a lot of room. So the most compact out of the four we're gonna look at today. Of course, you've got your three pedals. It comes with a stool, metronome. You've got a split keyboard. This actually gives you probably the most amount of features out of the four we're gonna look at. You've got some backings on board, so I can actually put a backing on and I could have done an ending, it's got intros and endings. Another cool thing, of course, it's got Bluetooth uh, MIDI and you can connect to Piano Partner 2, which is Roland's really cool app, which allows you to control the piano, allows you to do musical games for the kids. Uh, all the music in the piano will come up on the notation. Another cool feature is it's got mini jack line in, so you can run audio from a device back in. It's also got a device port on board, so you can record MIDI data to the device port, to the USB stick. You can't record audio, but you can play back audio, which is unique in this class. None of the others are able to do that. So all in all, yes, it's the, uh, the veteran amongst the four we're looking at today, but still a really awesome piano. And if you want compactness, then this is the most compact one. So that's it, F140, whole host of other good sounds. Let's move on to number two. Okay, so now second up, we're gonna go with the Yamaha YDP143. So this is at a cabinet model piano as well. This is the satin black finish. So this is a more traditional style uh, cabinet than the F140 in the sense it's a little bit more deep and it has a traditional uh, slide down lid. So really nice looking piano. This is a very good seller. Uh, it's a Yamaha, it's a good brand as they all are. Roland Yamaha, Casio, uh, Kawai are all big name players in the game. And that's why we're looking at the models from these companies today. So let's have a listen on to the piano sound. Okay, so the Yamaha's probably not so much focused on too many features. There's uh, just a standard sort of sounds on board. You've got piano, you've got electric piano, you've got strings. There's some nice electric pianos on board as well. So, few simple voices. You've got a 192 note polyphony on this one. The Roland, again, uh, being a slightly older model, has 128 note. Again, do you run out of notes on any of these, whether it's 192, 128? No, you don't. Even with the pedal down, you've only got 10 fingers. You can hold down a whole bunch of notes. So, don't make your decision based on how much the polyphony is. Yes, the newer model ones now have 192. So this has 192. Um, you've got headphone output, available in three colors. You've got black, you've got a dark rosewood, also available in a white finish. So three color choices, they come with a seat. 
Um, so functionality wise, you've got 22 sounds, I think, for memory. Um, you've got the natural black keys on this one. So the black keys are grippy. The white are your standard plastic keys. They're full graded hammer mechanism on this. And the sound source is using uh, Yamaha's pure CF sampling. So it's a sample of their nice CF concert grand. Done really nicely. Again, if you're after just a simple piano uh, that's not too expensive, that sounds good, but doesn't do anything too fancy, this could be the one you, you go for. So we're hearing here, obviously, the recording. We're recording out of the headphone output on this piano. Uh, if you're in the store listening to it, um, it sounds pretty good. It's probably the lowest on power output of speakers. We're running 12 watts uh, of power on the speakers, but it still sounds really good. And certainly once you've got it in a lounge room or a bedroom or wherever you're using it at home, it's ample. Okay. All right, now we have the Casio AP270, which is relatively new uh, and one of the current contenders. This is the oak tone finish. It's also available in satin black and satin white. Traditional cabinet design, roll down lid, similar to the white AP143. Also 192 note polyphony. Simulated uh, ivory texture on the white keys and the black keys. Let's have a listen to the piano sound. Feels really good. One of the features Casio talk about with this is their tri-sensor technology on the action. That's one of Casio's design things. Does it feel quick and fast? Yes, it does. Uh, do the others all have tri-sensor? No, look, it's one of the features that digital piano manufacturers come up with. And in this particular instance, it works really well. Can I play fast on the other two we've played so far? Yes, I can. They all feel really good, to be honest. So we're just gonna try and nut out some differences so you can decide which one you like best. Let's go back. So we have got USB on this one. No device port. We have USB, which is class compliant MIDI, so you can connect to iOS devices uh, with it. There is a Piano Play Cordana app available for it as well that uh, uses scoring and you can learn to play songs with it, which is really quite cool. Another cool feature of the Casio is you've got different um, reverb settings and different uh, concert hall settings that you can have the piano go through. And you've got Concert Player, which there's a whole bunch of classical recordings in there of uh, very well-known symphonic orchestras that you can play along with. So all in all, a really good piano, nicely laid out um, and uh, sounds really good. Another feature of this, again, we're listening to the recording, but in terms of the onboard speaker system with this one, you're looking at a 16 watt uh, power output. So we're moving up a little bit from the Yamaha. It does sound a little bit louder, but like I said before, we're in a bedroom or a home environment, they're all pretty equivalent. Let's move on. Okay, last one in the run up, number four. This is, now this is not in order of preference or anything. It's just the fourth one we're doing. This is the KDP 110 from Kawhi. Again, relatively new, uh, not been out probably the Casio is probably the newest out of these four and this is probably around the same time maybe just before we've done the video on this before this is a really good piano uh 192 note polyphony as per all the others bar the 140 f140 what you can't hear on the video here is one of the features on this piano that pretty much trumps all the other three is the 40 watts of speaker power so if you're standing here in the store the speaker system is massive it sounds really big um and it's not just really big and it doesn't feel nice to play. Of course, the action is really good as well. Let's have a listen to the piano sound, which is very nice. Okay, so yeah, 40 watts of sound. Again, you can't hear it on the video, but if you're in the store, very, very good. Uh, grand feel piano uh, pedal systems. They've all got three pedals. One of the features Kawhi like to talk about is that the pedals on this actually feel like a real piano, and they are firm and progressive, so you do get a natural piano sustain pedal feel with them. Um, in terms of voices, Feature-wise, you're sort of similar to the YDP-143. It's not 5 million features. You do have Bluetooth MIDI on board with this. 
and you can use a whole bunch of apps with it as well. Kawhi have a Piano Technician app. They don't have a control app as yet, but there is going to be something from Kawhi coming on that front soon. Uh, piano sounds very, very good. Again, 192 note polyphony. Um, beautiful piano. Okay, so let's run through this again. So we started with the Roland F140. Again, probably the oldest in the comparison, but a very big selling piano and still very, very good. Probably the most amount of features. Uh, control app Piano Partner 2, which controls it all. A little bit down on the polyphony stakes, 128 versus 192 on all the others. But like I said, that's you know, not really a, a deal breaker. It still sounds fantastic. Got the nice um, ivory feel on the 140. So features are great. If you want a piano with lots of features, the F140 should definitely be on your shopping list. And also particularly if you want that compactness, it is the only one in the comparison which is a really compact design. We then jump to the YDP143, uh, which has a little bit less speaker output. So it's only 16 watts, uh, but still sounds really, really good. Um, nice piano feel on the Yamaha. Um, simple features, not too many features, but if you're just after something that just plays piano, does it well, and you're not too fussed by what it does, the 143 could be on your shopping list. We then went to the AP270 from Casio, which is a brand new model. Um, and again, great feel. You've got the simulated ebony and ivory keys, 192 note polyphony, traditional cabinet design, different features, uh, sorry, different colors is what I meant. And it does the job really, really well. So which one do you pick? Well. Power output speaker wise, the KDP110 pretty much nails it. It sounds fantastic through the speaker system. It does have Bluetooth, doesn't have too many features. Which one do you buy? Well, look, like I said on, on the other comparison videos, these are all really good pianos. Some are newer, some are older, and one you might identify the sound of one more than the other. For me, just from a pianistic point of view, I tend to steer towards this. I've said it's superb before. I still think it is superb. It's a stunning piano. And it probably takes the cake for me from a piano and sound perspective, playing it through its own speakers. Features wise, the Roland wins. Simplicity wise, the Yamaha probably is right up there. And newcomer on the block, the 270, action feel is very good. Sound is really good. And it's got a bunch of things that's a little bit different, the Cordana app. So they're all great. Take your pick. I'll see you next time.